message from the Galactic Federation of Light June 19th 12 message in a bottle the messages that we share with you are intended to act as torchlight to lead those of you out of the darkness of a lack of information and into the light where you will find more answers and more solutions to the obstacles that present themselves to you throughout your day. Our messages are not intended to convince anyone of anything or make anyone believe anything that they are not prepared or they do not wish to see or understand at this time. Our messages are not intended to awaken those who do not yet choose to awaken. Our messages are not designed for such a purpose, and therefore would not be able to successfully complete this task as they hold no properties to prove anything to anyone or to awaken anyone from their slumber. Do you understand this? Do you understand that our messages cannot be used in this way as they are not meant to be used in this way and possess no abilities to produce results in this way? What these messages are designed for is to allow those who have chosen to awaken and are looking for higher and greater understandings to be able to access a fountain of information for this thirst of knowledge and understanding of what it is that is transpiring here in their world around them and within them at the same time. What we would like to see more of you doing is using our messages for the purpose that they were intended, as a source for information only for those who seek it. This would greatly enhance the effects they are intended for, and your efforts in this light would assist us tremendously on our shared mission. We thank those of you who make such efforts to share our messages far and wide and we say to you we do not wish you to stop or let up on these efforts, but say to you to choose more carefully who it is you are sharing these messages with. There are those that just simply are not ready for this kind of information that at this point for them on their journey is quite startling and beyond the reaches of believability for them. We understand that there are many of you who find this information quite the contrary and very believable and understandable, and that this information that we provide to you actually makes greater sense than any other scenario that many of you have found as implausible as to the reasons why you are here and the reasons responsible for the nature of this world. We say to you there is very good reason why this information resonates so well with some of you and that these reasons go beyond the experience of many of your contemporaries, and tell you on the whole you are a rarity, you are not the norm, but the exception. What we would like to discuss with you today is what we see as inevitable at this juncture of your journey. We see challenges up ahead for you and we see opportunities to create for yourselves triumphs beyond anything that many of you have ever experienced before. What we do not see are excuses being provided to you to choose to fail, to choose to quit, to choose to roll over in defeat. We have not provided you these opportunities and these events for you to use them to defeat yourselves. We have, at the bequest of our Creator, designed for you events and opportunities that will allow those of you who so choose to conquer fear that they may have stored within themselves and conquer obstacles and defeat challenges that have been designed meticulously and specifically to bring out the best in each of you individually and at the same time collectively. This certainly has been no easy task that our Creator has asked of us to accomplish, but we, just as you, relish this opportunity and we have chosen to use this opportunity to its greatest potential to allow us to reach our greatest potential. We hope to see many of you also choose to use this opportunity wisely to seek your greatest potential, and we are convinced that many of you will be quite surprised indeed to discover just how great your individual and collective potential truly is. There have been many lessons and experiences created here in your world, but none such as the experiences that await just ahead for those of you who choose to persevere, to move on, to move up and open new doors that will remain closed for some of you that choose not to push themselves, to test themselves, to challenge themselves to become much more than they are today. There will come a day when each and every soul on your planet will choose to leave the old paradigm for new adventures and experiences that will add to their pedigree. But today it is best for many of these souls to remain here and focus their attention on some lessons they have yet to learn and obstacles they have yet to find a way to hurdle. We hope that you, the ones that are prepared for something new, understand this and for now allow these souls to continue on in the lives that they have become accustomed to and that for them still present to them challenges to overcome and many lessons to learn from. They will at one point reach the pinnacle that you stand before today and will be prepared to take the leap of faith, of trust, of confidence, of courage and bravery, of adventure, of wonder and of mystery that you are about to take. We say to those of you who are now ready to take this leap that you have come a long way and that you have faced many challenges and have endured many experiences designed to test you and to strengthen you and to bring about for you the higher self that has always dwelled within you. This is your day. 
and this is one item that does not necessarily have to be shared with all the others, as they are not ready for such gifts yet at this time. We hope that you understand this, and we hope that you will enjoy your experiences and the events to come knowing that you will not be experiencing them with everyone that you may wish to. This is the way it must be for now at least, and there will always come a day in the future when all will make the same journey that you have made and you can be there waiting for them on the other side of the door that you are about to pass through just a while before them. To those of you today reading our words who are not yet sure that you are ready to take this leap out of the old into the new, we say to you that every choice is the correct choice, and that if you feel this is not the time for you to move on, then we say embrace what it is you know, you understand and you feel inside and feel glory in your decision to remain here with many of your brothers and sisters that have also made the same choice as you. This is the wiser choice for many of you at this time, and we say to you take solace in knowing that you have developed the skills, the intuition and the wisdom to locate for yourself the path that you wish to travel and the path that will bring about for you the challenges and experiences that will bring about your higher good. Be proud in knowing that you have the courage to make this choice knowing that there was another choice you could make and that you just somehow felt inside it was not the better choice to make for yourself at this time. You are showing great wisdom and great restraint to choose to remain here and work on some portions of yourself that may need more experience and more lessons. We say to you that you will receive just what it is that is needed to allow you to forge your wings to one day take flight from here when you feel it is now the time and you are now ready. Until then, do not ever feel there is anything or anyone rushing you to make this decision before you feel it is right for yourself, for there is no ticking clock for you and you have all the time to develop yourself and to experience only what a realm of the physical has to offer. For those of you who do choose to move on, we say to you the time for this is drawing very near and you do not have much time left to make final preparations and to perhaps hone and sharpen the points of yourselves that at this time may be slightly dulled and in need of attention. We all have our own unique qualities about ourselves and we all have areas of our lives and ourselves that could use some attention, and we say to those of you who are now packing your bags, so to speak, to take a few moments each and every day and take inventory of yourselves and what it is that you feel could benefit from some attention and some improvement. If you could do this we know that you will experience, enjoy, and prosper from, the benefits of such efforts. There is nothing that you can ever give effort to that will not result in a benefit in some way for you and for others around you. This we would like you to remember today, to always give each and every task no matter how great or how small your attention and your sincerest efforts, and you will always reap the reward for such noble effort and achievement. We are your friends and we are your family from the Galactic Federation of Light. Peace unto you, our brothers and sisters. As channeled through Greg Giles.